Hey guys, we've all seen some cool viral effects on social media and we all have wondered how did they do it? Well, we are here to help you. So if you have a cool effect you want to learn, let us know in the comments down below. We'll try to figure it out. But for today, we are going to create a super dynamic product draw effect. A kind of transition that makes your product look like it's literally flying at the camera and back. Let's do this. First things first, shooting. Set up your shot with a tripod. Now crank up your frame rate as high as possible. The more frames we capture, the smoother our slow motion will be later on. Now for the fun part, stand in the frame, hold your product and pretend to throw it towards the camera. If your product is indestructible, sure, you can throw it for real, but I wouldn't risk it. And don't forget to pretend to catch it again. That's what sells the illusion. Next, grab a close-up shot of the product itself. This should be in the same lighting as your first clip, so they match up seamlessly. And we need our product to spin. How? Get creative. You could rig it to a drill, dangle it from a string, or spin it manually, whatever works. Oh, and if you can't, shoot this against a green screen or at least something with high contrast. A white sheet, for example. Anything that makes it easier to isolate the product later on. All right, we've got the shot, time to jump into After Effects, and we can start by creating a new composition and dragging in our first clip. Now we're doing a little bit of editing. We're gonna make a cut between the throw and the catch action, and then we're gonna duplicate the second half of the clip, we're gonna right click on the duplicate, go to time and choose freeze frame. This will hold our pose for the entire length of the duplicate clip. Then shorten the frozen clip and shift the original catching clip to the right, making it start when the frozen clip ends. Now we have a nice little frozen gap where the project can fly in. Hello, time to bring in our spinning product shot. First, we need to remove the background, either with the roto brush or key light for green screen footage. If you need a refresher on those, Check the video right here on the top corner somewhere. Once the background is gone, place the product clip in the correct spot in the timeline. Now here's where the magic happens. We want the product to spin fast at the start, slow down in the middle, and then speed up again at the end. For this, we're using time remapping. Right click on the clip, go to time, and then enable time remapping. Now add two extra keyframes between the existing ones. Grab the first keyframe and pull it to the left. Then do the same with the second new keyframe, dragging it to the right. This speeds up the outer sections while keeping the middle slow. Perfect. Just keep in mind, how slow you can go depends on your frame rate. The higher the frame rate, the smoother your slow motion will look. Now let's make things even smoother. Pre-compose the product clip by right-clicking on it and selecting Pre-compose. Why? Because sometimes animating position and scale on a time remapped clip gets buggy. So we wrap it in a new comp and now we can animate freely. Next, let's animate the position and scale. At the start of the product clip, create keyframes for both properties. Adjust the scale so the product is the same size as the one in your hand and position it correctly. Move forward in time, animate it flying towards the camera, making it bigger and bigger until it fills in the screen. Then reverse it, scale it back down as it flies back into your hand. Looking pretty solid, but we need depth. Time for a quick lens blur trick. Create an adjustment layer and place it above all the clips that have the person in them. Add the camera lens blur effect and animate it. This will blur the effect as the product flies towards the camera and bringing it back into focus as the product flies back. This makes the whole thing look way more dynamic and cinematic. And now to finalize the effect, a little bit of handheld motion and sound effects. And that's it. You just created a super smooth product throw effect in After Effects. If you want to keep leveling up your motion graphics in After Effects, click the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.